Hey everybody, today we've got a 25, it's 20 minutes basically, 20 minute yin practice and it's themed around letting go of the stories. So it's allowing yourself to drop into stillness, allowing the, the feelings, the thoughts, the stories, the emotions and everything to move through you. Um, knowing that when your body releases these things, it's because it is ready to let go and it is ready to let it move past and you are ready to let it go and you don't need that story anymore. So as we move through the flow, I really invite you to come back to your breath, to keep move, to keep, not keep moving because we're not moving, keep in stillness and listen to your body. Do whatever feels right for you because only you know and really enjoy this time for yourself. You really deserve it. You deserve more than 20 minutes to settle in and to find a pause and find stillness. So enjoy it. And we're going to start lying down on the mat. Start. We're going to start lying down on our backs today. So take a moment to lay your body down. You can stretch the legs long or you can keep the soles of the feet on the ground. Let the knees fall into one another. Take a little wiggle. Close down the eyes. Press pause on your day. Whether it's the morning, the middle of the day or the evening. Take a moment to press pause on whatever is going on. Find your breath. Feel the breath in the body. A moment, notice where your mind is. And then press pause on whatever is going on there. And come back to the breath. And then take a moment to connect to your body. How is your body feeling today? No right or wrong, no good or bad. Just bring an awareness to how you feel. And come back to your breath. So the theme of today's practice is letting go of the stories. Press pause on the whirring, the need to create a story over every thought and feeling. We're allowing everything that comes up to move through us. Notice it's there, but then let it pass. And this is a practice. It will take time. Every time you notice yourself wander off into a story, come back to your breath, reconnect to your body, and then let it pass. So one more breath here. And then we're going to bring the knees up towards the chest. Squeeze the knees in. Squeeze chest to the knees, knees to the chest, shoulders are grounded. You can even rock from side to side or simply find stillness here. Taking our time to begin moving the body. This is yin. We're keeping it soft. We're keeping it steady. No effort. Just simply letting gravity support us. Letting the body go where it wants to go. And allowing it all to move through us. And one more breath. When you feel ready, bring the hands on the backs of the knees. You can roll onto one side if that feels more comfortable. Or I invite you just to roll backwards and forwards till you make your way up to tabletop. Enjoy rolling around on the floor. Enjoy rolling around in your body. How often do you get to do this? How often do you allow your body just to move? And then when you feel ready, come over the knees. Take them all the way back and come to a child's pose. Stretch the hips back to the heels, arms long. 
rest the chest over the thighs, rest your forehead down, close down your eyes. So I've got my phone here for timers. We hold each pose for a little bit longer in yin. We allow ourselves to drop in connective tissue to find a release and we find stillness. Letting gravity do the work. And when you're faced with silence, you just become the observer. Listen to what is going on in your mind. And every time you notice yourself wander off into a story, come back to your breath and back to your body. We're gonna leave a lot of space for silence today. A challenge for me and for you. Slow the breath down. And really notice if there's anything you're holding onto in the body. Can you relax and let that go? And one more breath here. And when you're ready, we're gonna add on to this pose. We're gonna come all the way up to tabletop and then slowly start to walk the hands forwards, keeping hips above the knees, stretching the arms long, coming into your puppy pose. So if this is too intense, you can take the hips slightly further back so you're in between a child's pose and a puppy pose. But I really invite you to drop into the deepest pose that feels right for your body. Only you know what that is. But I invite you to find your edge. You should feel a little bit of heat, a little bit of intensity, but we're not too close to the fire that we're getting burnt. When you've already closed down your eyes, remove the distractions from the outside world and drop into your world, into the body, into the mind, following the breath. I know it's easy in these poses as they become more intense to want to wiggle, to move. But I really invite you to find stillness. I really invite you to just drop in and trust the process. We have just less than a minute left here. If you've started to tense, take a breath, let it go. And if this feels too intense, adjust. You're almost there. One more deep breath. And slowly come out. Walk the hands back. I invite you to lie down on your tummy, but you can take a rebound lying on your back or even a child's pose. Anywhere that your body will feel comfortable enough to let go and find balance. Lay down. Hands back towards the hips to release the shoulders. Left or right cheek on the earth. Close down the eyes. And just take a moment to feel into your body. 
How does it feel to come out of that pose? What sensations can you feel? Try not to add any stories or labels to whatever it is you do feel. Try to just notice. Keeping the breath steady. One more breath here. When you feel ready, we're going to bring the hands under the shoulders. Gently press all the way up to tabletop. Send the hips back and walk the hands back with you. We're going to come to seated at the back of the mat. So we're going to come into a caterpillar pose, stretching the legs long. And I really invite you to bring something underneath your sit bones. Even if you're incredibly flexible, having this little bit of height under the sit bones just allows our pelvis to tilt forward, helping us find a more natural position for our body. Let the feet fall in, they might fall out. You can have a little gap between the legs and you can also bring cushions on top of your legs to support your upper body, but it's quite nice just to let gravity support you. So when you feel comfortable, we'll wiggle the, the bum cheeks out the way and then we're just gonna start to round forwards, letting the shoulders fall heavy, chin tucked towards the chest. And you're finding a nice rounding up the back body and then close down your eyes. So we're kind of allowing the body just to hang and it's quite nice to bring the hands onto the legs, just reminding your body that this might feel funky, but we're okay. Keep your breath steady. And notice where you can soften. Can you relax your shoulders, your jaw, your face? Follow the body. Notice how this pose shifts and changes as we hold it. Notice the sensations of holding this pose. Taking the seat of the observer. Allowing ourselves to be here in this moment instead of off in our minds in a story. the breath steady, body relaxed, you're almost there. And for this last little bit of time, notice if there's anything else you're holding. Can you really relax into the pose? Can you really let gravity support you? Your body won't go further than it really wants to. And if it does, it will tell you. A little discomfort, a little tingling is okay. And actually incredibly normal in you. Any pain is not. So listen to your body, follow its lead. And one more breath here. 
And then when you're ready, slowly start to walk the hands back towards the legs. Start to lift the upper body. Take your time to unravel. Scooch the bum forwards. Move that cushion out the way and lie all the way down. Keep the hands on the backs of the thighs as you roll. And take a moment to lay your body down. Come into a rebound. Slow down your breath. Close down the eyes and tune into your body. How does it feel to lay your body down? How does it feel to come out of that pose? And as I ask these questions, as answers come up, just notice and let them pass. One more breath here. And from here, we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall out to the side. So you can bring the hands lying on your tummy and chest, or you can take the arms above the head, taking hold of the hands, the wrists, the forearms, or the elbows. Take a moment, wiggle. Feel into the pose, get comfortable. Make the pose fit your body. Close down the eyes and settle in. Knees are heavy, shoulders are heavy. Breath is soft. In this pose especially, really be the observer. Really notice what comes up. Ancient yogis believe that we hold a lot of emotions and tension and trauma in our hips. So as we relax, as we let go, as we release these areas of tension, things might start to bubble up and that's okay. There has been so many yin classes where I have cried my eyes out and that's okay. It's human, but just notice. Let whatever bubbles up move through you. Know that your body is releasing it because it feels you are ready to move past it. Try not to hold on. Know that your breath is there as a tool. Know that you are safe. You are supported. You are loved. Know that those stories and feelings that bubble up are in the past. They are not you. You are not them. If your mind's got caught up in a story, gently come back. Scan through your body, find your breath. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then gently use your hands to bring your legs back together to find a rebound, take your time. Maybe bring the soles of the feet to ground, the ground, feet wide, let the knees fall into each other, or maybe send the legs long. Whatever feels right for your body. Close down the eyes. 
and just fall into sensation. After each yin pose, we find a rebound, a moment for our bodies to come back into balance, a moment to find the release of each pose. One yoga teacher once said to me that yin is like squeezing a hose pipe. You stop the water coming from the side, and then when you come out of the pose, you allow it to flow. It's kind of like holding these yin poses in our bodies creates a little bit of tension. It can get a little intense, but then there's that beautiful whoosh, that release. And you've already opened the arms wide. Drop the knees to the right hand side. Gaze comes over that left shoulder, coming into a twist. Eyes are gently close. Slow down your breath, but let the body be heavy. There's nothing you have to do here. Let the body be supported. Let gravity do the work. All you have to simply do is let it all move through you. Keep coming back to the breath. Keep it steady. You're almost done here. And when you're ready, gently bring the knees to the center, drop them over to the left hand scout side, maybe scooch the hips to the right. Gaze is over that right shoulder, eyes are gently closed. Come back to that place of stillness, letting the body be supported. So these last two poses that we're connecting to, these twists, connect us to the fire element, which is the element of transformation. And often transformation is thought of us doing making it happen but really to me transformation is letting go it is shedding the layers letting go of the stories and allowing ourselves to grow to step into a new story a new life a new perspective so for this last minute here Allow yourself to transform by letting go of the noise, by just being here. We have 30 seconds left. When you feel ready, gently bring the knees back. Come into your final rebound, your Shavasana, so you can keep the feet on the ground. This helps support the lower back, or you can just stretch the legs long. Sometimes when 
we have tight hip flexors from our modern lives lying flat on the ground isn't actually comfortable so take a moment and find a comfortable space hands can be wherever feels good eyes are gently closed and I invite you to take a deep breath into the tummy into the chest and then let it go out the mouth and maybe we do one more of those And take a moment to scan for your body. First, sending the awareness down to the soles of your feet and slowly, piece by piece, connecting to your body, moving your awareness up, up the legs, up the torso, down the arms, up the neck, and then to the face piece by piece, taking one last check in with your body. And then one last check in with your mind. Take as long as you need here. You can stay here, breathing, being, letting go. If you're ready to move back into your day, you can start to come back. But wherever you are, whatever you do, move with kindness, softness, and move as the observer. Listen, follow. B. Thank you everybody for joining me. It was an absolute pleasure to guide you through a yin practice. Yin is, oh, it's so yummy and it's just my, one of my favourite things. Um, and I'm, it's such an honour to be able to guide you through it. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a little YouTube -y thumbs up, um, a subscribe, a comment, a like, all of that YouTube -y stuff. And if you really like my classes, I have a mix of yin and dynamic flows live that you can join me on the links below. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.